Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for our being here in your presence today. We ask that your divine, loving, Holy Spirit be strong within us, guiding us in our prayers and that our spirits may be full of light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Last Sunday, the 8th of November, was Remembrance Sunday, the day on which we remember those military personnel and civilians who died in two world wars and more recent conflicts. That such conflicts are repeated points to the lack of desire among humanity to understand one another and to understand only what they want to. Heavenly Father, please lead us according to your teaching and help us in our understanding of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for the creative gifts you have bestowed upon humanity and that at times of great trouble and stress you lead your people to think creatively and make problems into opportunities, turning life around and arranging our ways of living differently. Please guide the government at times of emergency to work together for the good of everyone in the country. Please watch over and bless the Queen. Thank you, dear Father, for all those people who work with the British Legion that we may not forget those who died protecting the values we hold sacred. We thank you for guiding us all through COVID-19. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Please support medical staff in hospitals and be with scientists as they work on producing and testing a vaccine for COVID-19. Please comfort and, if it is your will, heal, heal those people suffering from the virus. Please. Draw close to the grieving. Please may your Holy Spirit move among those people suffering illness and trauma wherever they are. We think of those known to us. We pray for Anfen. We thank you where there has been healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Please guide us as we live through times in a changed world. Help us to be aware and open to your guidance. Guide priests working at this time. Lead the Scottish Episcopal Church and Primus, the most reverend Mark Strange. Please watch over our priest, Paul Singh, and his family. And the churches of St John's Moffat and All Saints Lockerbie.
In a moment of silence, we bring to our Heavenly Father all that is troubling us this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I conclude with more words from Wit's End Corner, a poem I believe was written at the time of the First World War. Are you standing at Wit's End Corner, blinded with wearying pain, feeling you cannot endure it, you cannot bear the strain. Bruised through the constant suffering. Dizzy and dazed and numb. Remember, to wit's end corner is where Jesus loves to come. Amen. Amen.